have I got a recipe for you. This is one that comes from my family. I got it from my aunt. We've enjoyed it for generations. It's a corn pudding, and it takes advantage of farm fresh corn. Let me show you how I started. Now, what I'm gonna do here is take six ears of corn and steam it. This is the last ear here. You can see there are five ears of corn that have already been cut off the cob. I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Show you how to take this corn off the cob. You just wanna take it and cut it like that. You don't wanna cut into the cob. You just wanna take the kernel off. Then in a moment, we'll milk it. Just cut the kernels off like this. It smells really, really good. The aroma of the sweet corn is just divine. We just about got it all off here. There you go. And then I just take the knife and I want to milk all that juice out just like this. There you go. Got a little bit here on the end. Don't want to waste a single kernel. All right throw this over here in the sink. Now, what I want to do, because I like this creamy, I want to take two cups of the corn, I'm going to put it in the food processor. Part of the recipe will use some of the whole corn, but two cups of this I'm going to put in here to make, to chop this up a little bit. I'm just going to pulse it, oops, here. much you see just enough to give it all right so that's done okay now I'm gonna take this half and half of two cups in there I'm gonna take one tablespoon of cornstarch and I just want to make sure that that's completely dissolved in the half and half I'm gonna make sure that it's all whisked together around the sides like this yes half and half I didn't say this would fit a diet it's very good though and then two tablespoons of chives and half a teaspoon of white pepper. Okay, before we go a little further, I'm going to get my eggs ready. So I'm going to use four eggs. I love using our eggs. Just look how dark that yolk is. Really beautiful. Got a little bit of shell there. These eggs are laid by some of our heritage birds. These were gathered this morning, and I think these came out of the New Hampshire red pen. Just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And one more. There we go. And I'm just going to take these four eggs and make sure that the egg yolk and the white is all mixed together like this. And then just pour that in, make a nice binder. And to finish it off and make it really good, we're gonna add a half a stick of salted butter that is melted. Mm-hmm. All right. Now this is what will bind the corn pudding together. Okay, now it's time to add the corn. And I'm going to take this corn that I have put through the food processor, take it, and add it first. Look at that. It smells so fresh. Put that in like this. Mix it thoroughly. And then I'm going to add what's left of the corn, which should be about a cup. So I've got one more. Well, I've got a little more. That's all right. I don't want to waste any of it. So there's one more cup. So you see you have three cups. You could stop here, but look, I don't have much left, and I just want to go ahead and use the rest of it. So it's probably a half of a cup left. So there's, there's some flexibility here. Now, some just use all whole corn. Uh, my aunt does that, but I actually prefer you know, at least half of it chopped up like I showed you. Now, what I'm going to do is just take this and pour it into an 8 by 8 baking dish that I've oiled. And then this will cook at 350 
for about 30 to 40 minutes. What do you what you want to make sure is that it's baked all the way around in the center. It just jiggles just a little bit. You can take it out and it will continue to cook. I tell you, when you try this, you're going to love it. It's one of those great back to basics dishes for the summer.